Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hansen. Before I jump off the balcony, I just want to let you know in this video, I'll be showing you how it looks like to live in Jakarta, how much it costs for a jumbo to live here, and hopefully give you a clear cut indication for why I think it is amazing to live in Indonesia. So, uh, but yeah, let's jump off my balcony, for real. Are you ready? Let's run for it. Five, five, two, ready? Welcome back guys, make sure you stick to the end of this video where I will be telling my three main reasons why I love living in Jakarta, Indonesia. But let's go ahead and jump into the expenses. Ouch! Oh yeah, that's right. Guys, please uh, smash that like button, yeah? If you like this video so this guy can get out of here. Are you done? Fist up. Alright, get up. Let's start by looking into my biggest expense first, which is, of course, rent. This is where I live. It's called South Hills Apartments in Kunigan. It's probably the best place to live right now for expats in Jakarta or anyone in general. I simply love this place for three main reasons. Many of my expat friends live here. I'm two minutes away from my gym inside the building. And on weekends, I feel like I can go on vacation, but in my own backyard. So the expenses I will be covering in this video is based on the month of November. I've been tracking through all of my expenses and calculated it so you can get a, a view of how much it costs on average to live an expat lifestyle here in Jakarta. So the total price per month for my rent is $1,176 for a one bedroom apartment. My utilities, they usually around 70, 71 bucks. For rent, including utilities adds up to $1,247 for the month of November which is 17,484,000 rupiah. My second biggest expense is food. And I always order my groceries online with a company called GoFresh. GoFresh, they will save so much time going to the supermarket. They deliver it straight here. I will just be ordering from my computer and they even have promotions that allows me to save money every time I buy there. So I use always Happy Fresh for all of my groceries. For takeaway, I usually use the app GoCheck, which is without a doubt the most popular here for takeaway. It's super easy to use and they have promotions as well. So whenever I order, I usually get two boxes of rice, two boxes of chicken for dinner, and that will only set me back $3.2 for that meal. Can I get an Alhamdulillah? Alhamdulillah. So all the expenses on food for November adds up to $376.80 or 5,156,000 rupiah. Then we have shopping expenses. I usually don't shop a lot, but if I do, I use Tokopedia, which is kind of like the Amazon in Indonesia. There is millions of products. There is a lot of different sellers, which pushes down the price and it's super easy to use. And in November, I bought some minor camera equipment, which added up to a total of $154 or 2,160,000 rupiah. I love Tokopedia and it's so easy. Here in Indonesia, I can honestly order something right now uh, on a Saturday and I can have it delivered in two hours. So they're delivering with Gojek. So it's basically just the guy on a scooter bringing you your camera, your laptop, whatever. It's so smart and it's so fast. Then for some of the minor expenses, we have the following categories. We have internet. I spent in November $31.45. For gas for my motorcycle, I spent $6.92. That's roughly only one tank of gas. Then cell phone plan, I spent $5.72. Protein powder, $32.22. For my cleaning lady, I paid $42.79. And then I have ATM withdrawals, which is money that I'm actually not really sure what I spent it on, but it adds up to $171.17. So before we get into the total amount, I just want to keep you in mind, insurance is paid by my company. So uh, travel insurance, health insurance is not included in this. Transportation due to working from home is not included either. Um, normally I would spend uh, $57 if I go to uh, the office and back five days a week flights for travel. I didn't travel in the month of November, so there's no expense for that either included. Normally a round trip from Jakarta to Bali though will set you back roughly uh, $71. It doesn't include parties, nightclubs, bars. I don't go out a lot 
and in the month of November, I didn't go out at all actually. So zero expenses on that account. So that brings all in all my expenses for the month of November to $2,059 or 28,869,000 rupiah. I do believe that my average will be on a regular month, probably closer to $2,500. But I will say you get a lot of good lifestyle for anything between $2,000 to $3,000. But before we end this video, guys, I just think it's important to mention, besides the cheap cost of living, why it is I think it's absolutely awesome to live in Jakarta. Number one, they have the friendliest people in the entire world. I've traveled to a lot of different places in my life, but I've never been in a country where the people are as friendly and as welcoming as the Indonesian people. You never see anyone yelling on the street, fighting, being impolite in public. They're always smiling, they're spreading that good energy, and no matter where I go, I never feel unsafe, and people, they always help me if I've lost my way and I need help. Number two, it is a negara cantik banget, and with endless opportunities and things to explore. There is 275 million people in this country. They have 17,500-ish different islands you can visit. All religions here are accepted, so there is a difference in cultures and traditions in all parts of Indonesia, which is huge. The climate is always warm, the nature is so vast, so beautiful, and as soon as you get outside of the major cities, you have beaches, you have waterfalls, you have jungles, you have mountains. There's endless things to explore here. So I can basically go to a new place every weekend. And for all the expats or future expats that might be watching this video, our producer has a special message he would like to bring to you today. It's so important that if you move to a new country that you respect and you adapt this new country's culture and ways of living. You cannot come to a new country and expect them to live exactly the same way as you did in your own country. Honestly, the worst thing is when I hear expats complaining about Jakarta again and again and again. I mean, if you don't like to live here, then you don't have to. If you like it, fantastic. But if you don't, there's plenty of other places you can live. And then some people might say, but Chris, don't you ever complain yourself? Of course I complain sometimes. It's impossible to be a happy chappy all day long, y'all. But still, I try to emphasize as often as possible why I love Indonesia. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, good or bad, put them in the box down below. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any suggestions to what video I should make next, you can text me on Instagram as well. Follow me there, follow me on TikTok. I'll make sure to follow you back. And I think there is nothing else to say, but I hope you enjoyed it and until next time.